Hello everyone. In this video, first I'll explain the copilot for Azure and then I'll show the form from where you can enable it in your environment and finally a small demonstration in the lab where we will analyze the cost of the Azure environment. So let's start with what is copilot for Azure. So it is an AI powered tool which will help you to better manage your Azure environment. In the backend, Copilot for Azure uses large language model, which is GPT-4 here. And using the insight of the services, it provides you different information and the recommendation. So it access the resource using the graph queries and provide you different scripts or the list of resources. Now the important part, is it safe to use Copilot for Azure in your Azure environment? And the answer is absolutely yes because it operates in the Azure ecosystem where all the Microsoft security are applied on it. And the best part is it follows the organizational policies. For example, if you have applied Azure logs on any resource that no one can delete it or modify it, then Copilot for Azure cannot edit or change that resource. And it doesn't have its own permissions. It uses the permission of the user. So if you have access to manage the resource, then the Copilot will use the same permissions and provide you information based on that. In short, it is safe for your environment and it doesn't collect your private data to use as a learning as it is a part of large learning model. Copilot for Azure is currently in preview and it has certain limitations too. And these limitations are added because it's fairly new and to prevent the misuse. So in a single chat session, you can have maximum of 15 requests and you can have up to 10 chat sessions in 24 hours. So now let's understand who will benefit by using the Copilot for Azure. So the answer is mostly everyone who has access to the Azure environment. If it's infrastructure team, they can optimize the resource. And if they are developers, they can understand the costing or whether their resources are set up in a proper way. Like if they have high availability or if they are missing something. And finally, the FinOps team who loves analyzing the cost in your invoices, or the different bills which are generated. Copilot for Azure is in preview. So right now it's not enabled for all the customers. So there is a form which you have to fill and then Microsoft will enable it for your environment. And I have provided the link for that form in the description of this video. So let me show you. So let me show you the form, how it looks like. Right now on your screen, you can see the request form to get access to Copilot for Azure. It has limited access right now. It's only available for approved customers and for public cloud. And it's available only in portal.azure.com, not, not in the cloud shell. And there are chances that with your personal email, this can be rejected too. For me, the access is provided, but you can give it a shot and see if the access is provided to you. There are certain details, your first name, last name, the tenant ID, and it has screenshots also to help you where you can locate it. Billing account ID, all those information has to be filled. And once done, you have to just submit it. Usually the request is approved within three to four days, or you will get an acknowledgement whether your request is approved or not. So let me quickly show you in the lab how we can analyze the cost of the Azure resources using Copilot for Azure. So I'm in Azure portal now. And at the top of the Azure portal, you can see Copilot. So if it is enabled for you, it will be visible here. Click on that and you get prompt like this. Welcome to Copilot for Azure. And then it gives you some suggestion also what you can ask. Now I'll start with analyzing the cost. So first of all, I want to summarize my cost for the last six months. So you just provide summarize my cost for the last six months. And it will take some time and provide you the details of it. It took around a minute or so and provided the details. So in January, it was $100 for me. So it has provided me the summary for every month. Now it also suggests the different prompts which you can use. What were my costs for the Visual Studio subscription in August 2024? So it will provide you for August 2024. And what were my highest costs for the subscription in 2024? So all these suggested prompts also help you analyze the cost more. So usually you have to give a minute or two to Copilot to provide that information. So right now it's asking me whether you want to select the scope, but I know that there is only a single subscription 
in my environment so i don't need to select it it will provide me the details so it's saying that your, your highest cost was in january which was hundred dollars my subscription is a personal lab subscription so of, of course the cost will be very low here and i usually delete the resources after creation of the video so the cost analysis in my environment is not that effective but anyways let's check the different prompts now and this is the another one where i want to know the breakdown based on the service itself for the last quarter and i want to identify the top three cost drivers let's click on this again let's wait for a minute or so and it will provide the details so now it has provided the details that these are the three services where the cost is high in the last quarter three months backup four dollars i know it's very less azure dns and other services these are the highest cost and there are some recommended prompts after this which you can use but i want to know why my cost was hundred dollars in january so let's just ask why did my cost spike in january so now it has provided me the list of resources in december and january and what has changed but now it's a resource id so i can change the output to instead of resource id sorry for the spelling i want resource type so what it is now it will quickly provide the same details but instead of the resource id it will provide the resource type what resource it was and it prompt and it provided other information also the cost spike was due to virtual machine the disk and the public ip address however i have asked the same information again but let's see how it provides the information so now you can see the resource type it's as your firewall dns zone key vault sorry recovery service vault and the virtual machines so it provides the output based on how you want it now because i don't have virtual machines running right now or any other azure app service or web app so it will not be possible to provide those recommendation but anyways i'll just ask which resources are covered by savings plan right now i am not running any savings plan but in this lab i am just showing that this is how you can ask which resources are using the saving plan are there any underutilized resources which are wasting the savings plan due to which your savings plan is not fully utilized so all these details you can ask to the copilot so it has checked the usage and the bill and it said from past 20 days there are no charges for the saving plan so there is no saving plan right now so i just wanted to show you in this video that you can be creative ask copilot though it is in very early stages sometimes it will output you that it will not be possible or there is a technical error anyways it's worth trying and using this you can analyze your cost optimize it and then save the cost on the azure resources so that's all for this video i hope you liked it please like and subscribe thank you so much